I'm Paul Lammers. I'm the owner of PM Barbecue. Uh, we're located in West St. Louis County in the suburb of Chesterfield. Uh, we are a traditional hickory smoked uh, barbecue restaurant. Everything we do here at PM Barbecue is uh, made in-house, cooked in-house, developed in-house. Um, we do our traditional pulled pork. Uh, we do a brisket, chicken, smoked turkey, of course ribs, and then a variety of other dishes unique to the barbecue industry. Um, as well, we make, make all of our own sides here in-house using family recipes, things that are either our mothers, our aunts, our wives' recipes. Um, we want to share those with the community. Just recently, we've added desserts to the menu. Um, again, more of a home-style feel, whether it be a traditional southern hummingbird cake or a coconut cream pie, a chocolate cream pie, uh, or one of our seasonal varieties. Uh, we've been open uh, about three years now. Uh, both bi my business partner Mark Ruck and I started as backyard barbecue guys with uh, Weber kettles or the big green egg things like that um, our family and friends had always told us that we ought to take this public and share some of our good food with somebody else and uh, I, I know there are a lot of people that have friends that tell them that um, our friends fortunately were good critics too um, so on a whim Mark and I entered a, a barbecue competition a number of years ago and had some success uh, after that, we continue to enter different contests locally and, so, and set up a stand at a local farmer's market uh, where we could really gauge whether the public was interested in the products that we had to offer. And what we found is in this area, uh, people were hungry for some delicious barbecue. Um, again, that's where our philosophy of cooking fresh every day was developed. Um, being a farmer's market type company when we started, we had no outlet for additional food that was left over at the end of the day. So we had to be very sure that the food that we put out was the best possible, um, that we were holding it as well as we could, um, and that we were prepared to um, draw customers in uh, to eat some of the best barbecue in St. Louis. When we first opened, um, we used other holding cabinets and found very quickly that uh, while they would keep the food warm, they wouldn't really help us maintain the quality that we wanted to. Um, the move for us to a, a product by Winston Industries, the CVAP cabinet, um, was one that after a little bit of research, we realized that the, we realized we were paying for a, a real value in that product. Um, we can take product of ours, uh, whole briskets, um, pork butts, pork shoulders, um, that we take off the smoker at seven, eight, nine o'clock in the morning. We can hold them whole in a Winston cabinet all day long and those are as moist to slice or to pull at the end of the day as they were at the beginning of the day. Additionally, they maintain a nice crust or a bark on that and in our barbecue restaurant, the bark is an important part of the, of the meat. Um, we have a second cabinet. We invested in that pretty, pretty quickly once we realized how much we liked the first one. Um, and that's a second cabinet that we use then to hold uh, our smoked chicken and our, uh, our ribs because we want a different consistency with those. We needed, we needed to keep the chicken skin crispy. Um, and again, it's a product that is on the smoker for three or four hours uh, that then we want to be able to hold through that lunch period of time until we can cook again and hold it through the dinner period of time. Uh, and the Winston products really help us do that.